Joey, I mean, look, difficult question. But obviously the resort you were in had lots of nanny facilities and they weren't that expensive to use and you both were professionals earning money. Another criticism that's put to you is why didn't you just pay to have a, a nanny if you wanted to go out for dinner? Yeah, I mean, it's not a question of money. We did uh, what we thought was best in the kids' routines and I think as parents uh, we were... We had a very good routine in terms of the whole bath, bed, story type thing. And, and I, I take your point, but for me, you know, if your children are asleep upstairs in a bedroom and you're dining in the garden, you're out of sight and you can't hear them. Um, and that's the similar thing to me. We were Except I guess that most people's homes are secure. Sure. You know, th this was not a secure property. People could come in and off the street if they wanted to. That, that's where the criticism, I guess comes at its most fierce towards you is, you know, you're, you're intelligent people and you were certainly good parents. There's no one's questioning that from all accounts that we've all heard. It's just when you have people coming in and off a street like that and it's not your home and it's not really secure. Again, I mean, I think it, it's back to the safety issue. We did not perceive an element of threat and Child abduction is so rare. Why would you have ever have thought that someone was going to get into an apartment and steal your child? It just didn't enter our head. If it had, of, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I think and we've uh, been through all these questions day in day out. Yeah. Why? How? Why? And I can only, you know, say to myself, "Well, Kate, you felt really safe, and I know how much I love my children, and there's no way I'd have taken a risk." I think the worst thing, though, about the focus on our behaviour, and you know. If we could change it, we would have. We can't change it. Mm. But it takes the focus away from the abductor. Mm. And that becomes quite frustrating for us because Madeline's still missing. And the, those, that person or those responsible for taking her are still at large.